go. I'm here for Eber Rides, and today is August 1st, and we're just right outside of Baltimore International Airport on a BWI trail to answer the question, can EC riders and cyclists coexist? But before we get started, we want to thank all the new subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, help celebrate this new channel by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell to be informed of new content. We thank you so much for your support. And as always, let's go. Let me introduce myself to the cyclists out there. What just passed you isn't your arch enemy, but your future trail sidekick companion, the electric unicyclist. Follow all of the same cyclist arm signals. And even more, since our arms are free. And of course, respect the on the left gestures. Now, we both require the proper safety gear, helmet, etc. For some of my fellow electric unicyclists, they would say I'm minimally protected in this video. But we all can agree, efficiency and style can ex coexist. appear as if we're not working out, but we are. Electric unicycles take some balance, but besides having fun, we're working out our core and definitely conditioning our legs. <laughs> unicyclist I have to be responsible and respectful when it comes to speed for my safety and others for some of you out there we're not riding a gas filled motor vehicle just think of us as a one wheel electric bike <laughs>
Well, fellow cyclists, we're going to have to coexist because we have similar values, being healthy, the breeze on our faces, and going green. This opened up the door to tremendous potential benefits such as new trails and existing infrastructure repairs to make the roads a lot safer for all of us. to the channel or you just want to show us some love hit the subscribe button and the like button and to be notified when new content is available just hit that notification bell we thank you for your support and be safe out there